food is good. Do you reckon this guy eats a lot? He's huge. He's a tall. He's a tall lad, isn't he? We'll go near but he is, You know, I think he looks taller because he's got legs like a giraffe, hasn't he? Let's be honest. I think he's six foot two, but you know, he looks about six five. It's the low camera angle too. This is second at one. And it's natural speed, isn't it, Ali? There's no bulking up and you know having to get strong in the gym. I hope he actually stays away from the gym, other than. You know, just keeping himself supple and loose. Well, here we have uh, Vilkan Inaba, and this is going to be a good indication of just how far this man hits the golf ball. This is a very long par four. It's narrow, water all the way down the right-hand side. And he doesn't only hit the ball far, but he actually, more often than not, hits the ball very straight. <clears throat> very interesting shot here for Vilkan Inaba. Pretty straightforward shot he's got... Uh, 45 feet of green in front of him so and it's uphill pretty much all the way and into the wind so it should stop fairly quickly as it goes up this hill he's got a good touch as well so i think this is the right shot he's going to try and play it up out the right of the fairway there's a bunk out to the right he wants to be kind of just in that region plays at a beautiful pace as well no, he doesn't miss a bat once he's pulled the club. Settle, settle, that's fine. Get a club eye, Jason. If he hits it four yards past the flag, it's going to jump off onto the cocoon. He'll be left with a very difficult chip shot. So I think you might see this come up short. Ah, oh, he's played a beauty. Wow, what a golf shot. This for birdie, for Ninaba. And a really good response to the drop shot at two. It's only went to 400. That'll just be a wedge for his second at this par five. Just a wedge and a good one. <laughs> a very nice one at that. I would say that this is as, as easy a putt you, as you could have on the screen from that distance. Yes, for a share of the lead. but not quite. I get the feeling that today's a day that he and his new caddy are going to get to know each other really well. We'll talk about that as more as the day goes along. Oh, he's firing at them. And a chance for three birdies in a row. Got himself within one of the lead with the birdie at four. And once again, just the sort of putt that you'd like to have. A little downhill, it's nice and quick. Left to right swing, and in she goes. So Vulcan Inaba now just from the edge of the rough on the right-hand side. He's got a lovely angle into this front left pin placement from 175. I would imagine that was a nine iron. Oh, don't spin away. Back to Inaba. These parts can really keep the momentum going when you're at the top of the leaderboard and well hold. It would have been a pretty soft three putt by professional standards. Walks away with his four. Man, it's going to be fun watching this man's career progress. And he is a delightful young man. I can tell you, he's, he's, he's got the most wonderful manners, quite softly spoken. This would have been a very difficult trip. This is definitely the percentage shot but you've got to hit it a lot harder than that through 10 yards of kaku fringe which he's got i think a driver so the pin on the right hand side was very accessible oh my word <laughs> oh that's terribly unlucky he hit the sponsor board and went backwards he's got about 35 feet of green to work with Get up. Oh. That's not bad. That was very close to going into the bunker, though. You know, he's had a few of these putts, and uh, he, needs to, he needs to start making them for birdies if he wants to really 
shoot another low round like he did yesterday. This is slightly uphill. Beautifully done. What a lovely putt. Never looked like missing, and that takes Wilco Ninaba out in front by one. Very difficult for the cameraman out there, to be perfectly honest. I've not seen a specimen like this before. Knocking it where he hits it, uh, Dale. It's quite incredible. And it does it with such ease and grace. Tony compared him to uh, Ernie Els earlier, and I think that's a very good comparison. He's aiming straight at my cart, let's hope he doesn't hit it too far. No, it's perfect. <laughs> uh, he caught the trees and kicked right, and uh, Pavan kicked so far to the right, he's in the middle of the 18th fairway. But you know, I don't know why Wilco Ninaba doesn't save a lot of hassles and just take half the clubs out of his bag. He only needs a driver and a few wedges and a putter. This will be a good par. And I just can't get over how far this young man hits the golf ball with such an easy looking golf swing. It's unbelievable. I mean, he's going to hit this into the wind here. And I don't think that bunker on the left will come into play. And that bunker is at uh, 300 meters. he can control it because he has a lot of grass around that golf ball potential for a flyer and he's controlled the distance perfectly well done Tony before Vilka hits his shot I've got to tell you Pavan his tee shot on this hole missed the third fairway it was on the other side in the trees on the other side of the third fairway so Vilka off a good lie here that was a five iron 273 yards Oh, he hit the top of the sign there. Eh? He's not having much luck with these signs, is he? No. Caught the one on nine. Oh, he's at the back of it. Shoots up. Well, let's have a look at Vilcan in the now. Let's see if he can get it up over those trees. Oh! Oh, he certainly sure. has. So that's another good birdie chance coming up. Slightly down here. Yeah, you were right there, Dal. It just bobbled immediately. It left the club head. He's on a flyer. He is. Beautiful stuff. Seven under for his round today. Just an iron off the tee for the man that was the leader. 30 seconds ago, but not anymore. This, this, this to me, Tony, is just such a golden opportunity for him now to get exempt on the European Tour and get underway. Oh, absolutely. said earlier he had all the shots let's see improve it once again that's gorgeous that is a beauty i think we're going to see him really rip this out there and the further you go here the wider the fairway actually becomes it actually snakes it kind of around and then becomes wider at about 350 360 but that is way right oh dear you know, uh, Vilko looks like he's, he's really utilising his caddy and asking him questions and getting the replies that he wants. He does have to, he has to be bothered by that branch that is in his way, so he's going to have to punch it out low. But he has played a terrific golf shot. That is beautiful. Stay, stay. That's just, oh, that's unlucky. That was beautifully played. He's got some skills. He's not a one-trick pony. Another exam here for Vilko Dinaba, another very delicate little chip shot. Unlucky with that second shot, they rolled all the way down there, but... Well, what can you say? Fantastic. You, you can say fantastic, exactly, Hazy. That was beautifully played, wasn't it? Excellent stuff to minus 12. Tied for the lead now. Which suggests it's going a little to the right. Maybe a little that oh. Well, if he gets a decent lie there, that should be no problem. It's 
So play has been suspended here at Rand Park Golf Club due to the threat of lightning. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.